Welcome back, sports fanatics. I'm Antonio Clark. Big day of sports on the Western Slope, and we're going to kick things off on the gridiron. Fruta hosted the Rampart Rams in a league matchup tonight. Let's get out to Stoker and see how the Wildcats fared. From the start, Fruta was all over Rampart, opening kickoff. Roman Valdez, he initially muffed this, but after crowding the ball, he'd lose it again not long after as Tyler Archuleta strips him. There's going to be power for the ball now, and Fruta's Luke Bennett is going to come away with the ball. Fruta ball, 0-0 scoreboard. Wildcats, they're going for it on fourth down, and they're going to break out the trick play. Corbin Rowell pitches to pay in Nestler on what looks to be a sweep, but nope. Nestler stops on a dime and throws it back across the field to Luke Bennett. Bennett, he ends up, he ends up fumbling on this, but William Jones is in the right place at the right time, recovering it for a score. Fruit will miss the extra point, but now leads six so early. After forcing another stop on D, the Wildcats are looking to drive the field and make this a two-possession game. We're going to get a handoff to Armani Trujillo, who busts for 72 yards, getting the Wildcats into scoring position. Three plays later in Fruta, they're going to capitalize. Roll connects with Peyton Nestler on the skinny post for an 18-yard touchdown. Wildcats are up 12-0 now. They'd end up missing out on that two-point conversion after. Rams back on offense looking for anything to get them started. They wouldn't find it here. Armani Trujillo sniffs out the spot screen and comes up with a tackle for loss. Fruta ball once again, and they're going back to the air. Roll play action fakes into the bootleg where he finds William Jones behind the last line of defense. Jones, he's going to glide in for the score. That stiff arm at the end gives him just enough to get there. Fruta up 19-0 with only 325 left in the first quarter. Rampart ball again, and the Rams looking to finally Rams looking to finally be finding their footing. Braden Sears drops back to pass. He scrambles and gets out the pocket. He's going to take a nice lick at the end of this, but the Rams are on the move. That would come to an end, though, as we get a bad snap over Sears' head. Jens Tobiasen falls on it, and the Wildcats come up with yet another turnover. Second quarter now, ensuing possession after that turnover. Although they're not known for passing the ball, Fruta, they're, they're going to end up lighting it up through there. Here, Roll finds William Jones in the soft spot, getting the Wildcats into the red zone. A couple plays later, Armani Trujillo, he's going to trot in for six, and Fruta's going to go up 27 0. Fruta would finish out the dominating performance with a 47-8 win. That moves them to 4-2 on the year. But keeping it on the gridiron, let's see if the Mavs could stay unbeaten as they traveled across the state to take on the Thunderwolves of CSU Pueblo. We pick things up under the 8-minute mark in the 4th, Mavs leading 10-3. We get a bit of trickery on the wide receiver pass, and it proves successful as Nick Williams delivers a 14-yard touchdown to Nigel Mitchell, and we're all knotted up at 10 apiece. Moving along under two minutes, Mavs driving, looking to win. The Thunderwolves had other plans, though. They collapsed the pocket and come up with the timely sacks. Mavs would turn the ball over on downs, giving Pueblo another shot to win it in regulation. But it wouldn't be. Dre Irvin, he's going to come up with a major clutch INT for CMU, and he's going to try to get this returned. He doesn't, he, he doesn't end up getting this to the house. Gets out of bounds, but we're going to overtime now. The two teams couldn't figure it out in regulation. The teams, they Traded field goals in the first OT period and Stan knotted up at 13 apiece. That's until Stephen Kroll connects with Nick Williams on this in-breaking route. He shakes off the first tackle and fights his way in for six. Thunderwolves go up 19-13. And CMU final play of the game here. Carson Turner rolls out, tries to fit one into Elijah Lilly, but Tanner Draper is there to break up the pass and seal the game. CSU Pueblo goes on to win by a final score of 19-13. Tough loss for the Mavericks, who now move to 3-1 and one on the year. The Mavs will look to bounce back next week at home when they take on Black Hills State. But hey, that's all the time we have for sports tonight. Stay tuned for more news.